Hi, I don't know about you, but I found that creating posts on Facebook and Instagram and scheduling them for desktop has become more and more challenging in the past. And I found finally a way to do it efficiently. And I think it's going to stick for 2023. So I want to share it with you. So it's using the Meta Business Suite, but I have a shortcut to get into it and I will put it in the show notes. So I go to business at facebook.com latest home question mark don't ask this is just a way to get to this simple interface so the first thing you see on the left here are the pages that you manage because i have an agency you will see a lot of them but i'll pick the first one which is um, one of my clients so you see facebook and instagram icons because we have linked the Instagram business account and the Facebook business page together. If those are not linked, you will be prompt to do so. So you do create post. And now once you get here, um, you have your different options to create the post. So here I'm going to put add video, um, add photos. And I'm going to go from my desktop because I've kept the photos that I wanted to use on my desktop. And I have a video on Catherine Aird social media on YouTube on how to get organized. Trust me, this is the best thing you can do. So I'm going to select the photos that I have here. Now you're going to notice that the photos are all a different size, and this is going to create a mini glitch for Instagram because Instagram likes to have photos if you schedule them to be all the same size. And so if I go in the drop down little arrow here, you will see Facebook and Instagram. So I'm going to click both accounts because I want this post to be scheduled and posted on those two different accounts. Now you will also see publish to Facebook group and see more groups. These are groups that we have joined as the page. Now you cannot join every group as a page. And I have a video on that again, at YouTube, Catherine Art social media, but this could be really useful. If for example, you're doing um, a job posting, then you can post it on Facebook, Instagram, and on the job board all at the same time. But for now, we're just going to take those two. And now you're going to see what it says. Multiple issues found. Um, you, I have to adjust the images to be all on the same ratio for them to show properly on Instagram, because remember we chose uh, both format. So what I'm going to do here is click this little pencil um, and it's going to tell you exactly what's going on. So you can read this, but um, this one is square. I know because it's an image I designed in Canva. This one I'm going to switch into a square. So I'm going to put square. You can edit it like this to make it the way apply. Then I'm going to go to this other one. If you have a product, you could tag it here. You can delete the images as well. You can reformat them um, as well. So there we go. This one I've decided I don't think I want it anymore. So I'm going to delete this one. And then this is the interesting part. It shows me first, it's going to show me a preview. Do we have another photo we can ask? Let's see if we can add more photos from my desktop. So I have this one, I have this one, I have this one. Ooh, I'm going to add this one. So say I can add photo. I can also move them around. So if you want this one to be the first one, you can grab it and move it like that. So this one, I believe I'm going to have to edit this size as well. And it's great because it shows you um, like exactly on this preview here, how it's going to look on Facebook, how it's going to look on Instagram, on desktop and mobile. So you really have a great way to go about it. Now, this is the next thing that you want to pay attention to is customize your posts for Facebook and Instagram. And I highly recommend you do that because it's going to give a more general look and feel to your post. So attention to little details like that. For example, on Facebook, you can put a link that people will be able to click to and go to. On Instagram, you cannot click the link and it's really 
um, annoying when people on Instagram says, oh, just click the link to find out more. And like, there's this long link that you can click. So instead on Instagram, you would say, click the link on our bio and maybe put like a little emoji of um, finger pointing upwards or something. So people know that they can link to the bio, right? So what I'm gonna do is put a text and this is a text, oops, um, that's not the text. I have this text here that I'm gonna copy from um, that I wanted to use, uh, here we go. So I'm gonna put this here. Now, if I wanna tag, see for example, um, this racket club. So um, I'm gonna click customize post for Facebook and Instagram. So this is gonna be my text for Facebook and this is gonna be my text for Instagram. So this is great also because the tagging is gonna be different sometimes from Facebook and Instagram, right? So if I wanna go here for Whistler Racket Club, so hopefully they're on Facebook, gonna go Whistler Racket Club, here we go, Whistler Racket Club. So it says Facebook, and then I'm gonna edit the name, so it's serious. Okay, the whole race and co team, na -na -na, Christmas party, um, maybe I'm gonna put a little party or Christmas emoji um, and happy holidays there we go okay if i want to put some hashtag this is another great tool with the meta business suite is this little hashtag icon here so you click here and here are popular recent save and search. So if I search Whistler, for example, because this party was in Whistler, BC, you see all the different hashtags and it gives you the name of posts, like the popularity. So there, uh, there again, I have a, a video on hashtags that talks about this, but you wanna have a mix of popular and not as popular hashtags, little bit less hashtags on Facebook than on Instagram. You can play with those, but it's really, interesting is you can flag some. So see, I flag some that were um, related to Whistler. So if I say Whistler Live, for example, I can put this one and save it. So what I'm gonna do is choose the hashtags that I wanna put like here. And then um, I'm gonna put Whistler Law, see what happened, Whistler Law, Whistler Lawyer, Whistler Law Firm. Okay. Then I can decide to save those. I'm gonna show you what happens. So I have saved my little hashtag and then I'm gonna add those. And then ta-da, they appear here. So again, I can go in my hashtags and then in the future, I can just up right away in the saved ones and click the ones that I want, click add and they appear and that's it. If you don't want them anymore, you can delete, you can click out of those. So this is great. So I have my post, I've tagged the, pers the um, other business and then I've put my hashtags and then I wanna put a location. So I'm gonna put um, location here, add enter a location. And this is all great for um, SEO, right? Whistler, I put Whistler Racket Club, here we go. And the reason you do that is those guys are gonna get notified and there's a great chance that they're gonna um, maybe comment on the post or share the post and then you get more and more engagement. Now, on Instagram, let's see how this would look like. So this is my Facebook preview, my Facebook preview on mobile. Make sure everything looks great. I'm like, okay, this is okay. Everyone's tag, here we go. And then I'm gonna say, okay, well, how does it look on Instagram? So let's switch for my text on Instagram because I wanna make sure that it's tagged properly on Instagram. So what is Whistler Rocket Club on Instagram? If they're there. See, here it's a different name. It's Rocket Club Whistler on Instagram. So that's good that we edit it. Um, Christmas party, now I'm gonna add. <clears throat> My little star. Okay, and then add the hashtags, save the hashtags. Whistler Law, Whistler Law Firm, Whistler Lawyer. Um, 
it's a village with a life. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> we had okay. Now let's look. Oh, this is my preview on Instagram. So this is great. Um, <clears throat> I have it. Look at what it looks like. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> now the other great thing is you can decide to publish, schedule, or save as draft. How amazing it's that so i'm gonna go um, and boost but what i'm gonna do is schedule and it you have different um options so you can say active times and then you have an idea so december 15 which is today active time would be 7 p.m okay let's pick that and then instagram no active time to show so how about we put it at um this time okay 12, 15, that's in 15 minutes, perfect. And I'm gonna do save. And I make sure everything is okay. And I'm gonna schedule. You can schedule whenever. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you where to find your schedule posts in case you wanna go back to look at where they are. So it opens right away. So you are here, we create plus. And another thing I, I suggest is once you find the interface of the Meta Business Suite that you like, save it so you can bookmark it. So I can go bookmark this tab and put it in my bookmark toolbar here. I can say I want this in my toolbar, bookmark bar. This is on Apple, but I'm sure you can do the same thing on a PC. Um, and then I can just click on it and arrive to that interface. So I have this. Now I see my previous post. I see the posts that are scheduled. I can always go on there and click there and edit them. So I could go here. This is my post preview. I can click here and I can edit, reschedule, move to drafts, delete all with those three little dots that are so magical on social media. We should have a t-shirt with just the three little dots because everything is hiding under the three little dots. Um, now, if you decide, remember when they said you can publish, schedule, or save as draft, this is where your draft post would be that you can go back to. And this is in all this little, on the side you have home, notification, inbox, post and stories, and planner. So this would be under your planner. By the way, this is also where you find your insights, which is always a great thing to look once a month to see how you're doing and to learn from your insights. So um, that's it. You can go uh, on these, this account. This is the Racing Company account. You'll see those posts being posted. Um, and I hope this helps. In my next video, I will show you how to do the same thing, but to schedule a post for social media using the Meta Business Suite but it's gonna be for video. And there's a couple of tricks that you need to know before you post your video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and have a great holiday season.